So in your clinical trials, what have you really found? Uh, you know, when uh, a patient has used this product, how long one has to use this to finally see the results of, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, having the need to let go of the glasses comes, you know, how long will that uh, you know, period take? So firstly, I want to say that this is not a replacement for spectacles or will eliminate the need for glasses. Um, I think uh, that has been somewhere miscommunicated uh, through you know, the media stories. Uh, this is um, an, a therapeutic option uh, in press biopia. So for those you know, patients who may not want to initially use you know, spectacle glasses, uh, you know, reading glasses for them, it would be an option. But again, those decisions are made by the doctor. Correct. There are various other ways also to deal with press press biopia. But this eye drop is a non-invasive way, and the decision to prescribe it would lie entirely with the doctor after diagnosing the patient and checking all the parameters. So, and any safety concerns there, any side effects, are there any that one should be aware of? So, the data that we have, uh, the clinical trial data, uh, has shown that this is uh, safe and effective uh, when it comes to the treatment of press biopia. Now, with any medicine, there are always certain side effects. Um, you know, there is no medicine which is a miracle cure or no medicine which is completely free. So there are some certain, you know, in about 2% of the population, this is what our trial data showed, that there are very minor side effects like a bit of irritation or redness. But a lot of these are, are transient, which means it goes away by itself and once the eye adapts to it. Uh, so this has all been shown in the clinical trial. And in fact, we'll be publishing the clinical trial results in a peer-reviewed journal uh, you know, very soon. So it will be available for doctors mainly to have a look at and then make an informed decision whether their patients will benefit from it.